Hello there, welcome to the ebook show where we update you on new trending movies, be it Hollywood, Nollywood, or Bollywood. And my name is Sandra Yaminu, and I'm here to give you the update of this new trendy movie called Before My Ex. Before My Ex. And it's highly centered on Morrisam and then Sophia. So, yes, Morrisam was um, a gentleman, like, I mean, a nice gentleman who was um, well to do and everything, was um, loving, caring. Um, boyfriend to um, Sophia. But then, because of um, Sophia's um, past experience with the ex, um, she had, you know, trust issues and all those stuff. Even though um, she realized that Morrison was caring, loving, and showed everything a man should um, show to the fiancé, she still had doubts. So one day, she came up with a plan with um, her best friend that they should go and, I mean, the, the best friend should go and seduce, you know, in a way to seduce um, Morrisam to see if he would fall into her trap. So that means um, because of the trust issue, he's, she's trying to um, put on a play to see how it will go, whether Morrisam would fall for the friend or, you know, would pass the test. So um, they had to pack and then go live with Morrisam for like um, some few days, yes, so that the plan could um, go on. So then Morrisam didn't know anything about that. Morrisam was thinking, oh, my fiancé is here with a friend to stay for a while, so let me just, you know, make, um, allow them make themselves, you know, okay around uh, in the house. So then um, one day, this um, Sophia's friend tried, you know, started the play. You know, the, the, the thing they, they came there for. So she started it, and then Morrison didn't give in. Morrison didn't even care. The next time she tried again, you know, trying to seduce Morrison, trying to get his attention. But then Morrison turned that down again and went back and asked Sophia that, like, when is the friend leaving? And Sophia was like, when I'm leaving, she would also live with me. So we are living together. So why are you asking me that? Why are you trying to, you know, suck us or um, send me away? And then Morrison was like, no, I'm not sending you away. I just, you know, um, kind of don't feel comfortable. So I was just asking if she would go before you. And then Sophia was like, no, she's not going. When I leave, she also leaves. And then Sophia, you know, giggled a little bit. But Morrison didn't understand why Sophia should giggle about this issue where he is thinking about um, how to go away from the friend. But then Morrison was like, okay, fine, that is your decision. So then as time goes on, um, Morrison still encountered these, you know, um, these things with a friend, with Sophia's friend. And Morrison will swerve away, but yet still, the friend doesn't give up. The friend will always come around and try, you know, putting their hands on uh, Morrison, trying to, you know, uh, you know, do that seduction activities and that. So one day they were, they were um, even they were supposed to go out to have fun, but then this friend came back, gave an excuse and came back to the house just to meet Morrison. And one funny thing is that this friend didn't let Sophia know that she was coming back home. And you know why? Why? Because by then, um, Sophia's friend had started falling in love with Morrison. So even before that birthday party, Sophia even asked um, the friend that, look, since you have, you've tried like several times and he's not giving in, let's just end it here. And the girl agreed. But then, not knowing that she had her own plans. So when Sophia was thinking everything is over and Morrison didn't give in, yes, still. This girl was planning so much that she was able to dupe the friend and then come home just to be with Morrison. And by then, Morrison was, you know, showing some kind of interest. Yes, so that was pushing um, Sophia's friend hard because she thought um, finally it's like Morrison is trying to, you know, give in. And she had also even fallen in love. So she was like, well, even though Sophia said we should end it, but I'm not ending it. Sophia came back and then met them and realized that no. Where my friend is approaching is really, is really dangerous because I told you to end this act. Why are you now even here without my consent? Something fishy is going on. 
So Sophia started, you know, having these doubts and that didn't even know what to do. And uh, altogether, Marissa was also, you know, showing some um, calm and then cold gestures towards uh, Sophia. So Sophia was like, no, this is not adding up. Uh, my friend is acting in a way, even though I told her to stop this act, but she's still acting in a way. Now, Morisam too is trying to do some avoidance and um, gestures towards me. I don't understand what's going on. So one day, Sophia happened to come and meet them, you know, um, you know, passing the romance and that. Sophia came and then saw that and was like, what is happening? And she collapsed. So when she collapsed and she woke up, she went straight to the friend and told the friend that I told you to stop. So why has it gotten to this um, stage? And the friend was like, look, the time you told me to stop, it was too late. I was already falling in love, so I couldn't stop. So forgive me and then like, just allow me. And then Sophia got upset, went back to uh, Morissam and told Morissam that, look, since you want my friend so badly and you're falling into her trap, I'm leaving. And then Morissam was like, okay, take the keys. You can pack and go, leave and go. Because um, firstly, you are the one who was started this and I know about your plan. So that was where Sophia turned back and was like, Morissam, what are you talking about? So Morissam got to realize that, um, uh, I mean, Sophia got to realize that Morissam know everything, the plan and everything. The friend told Morissam, thinking maybe she would um, get the chance by saying all this stuff. But Morissam too had his own plans to prove to Sophia that the friend was a bad friend. And surely the friend was really a bad friend. Because she was thinking of snatching Morissam away. And then Sophia got to learn that, really, this friend that I told was my best friend and was, you know, helping me out. Not knowing that she was rather the bad person and didn't want what's best for me. So then Sophia um, did everything and then, I mean, had everything, took her decision and left the house. So when she left the house and went to um, a friend's place, then Morissam wasn't picking her calls and that wasn't even calling in all the stuff. Not knowing that Sophia's friend had um, kidnapped Morissam. I wouldn't say he's even kidnapped because it was his own house which they were in. But then the friend had um, tied up Morissam just to take revenge because she thinks that Morissam has um, betrayed her and duped her, scammed her because um, she feels like she was the victim because uh, from the beginning she didn't uh, want to agree with this act. But then Sophia asked her to do it. Now she did it and she fell in love. That is not her fault. So she is now the victim. So why are they trying to blame everything on her? So she tied Morissam up and then Sophia was somewhere. But then Sophia was like, okay, let me just go back to the house and then apologize to uh, Morissam because, you know, uh, somehow, some way, it's my fault too. When Sophia got there too, the friend also, um, you know, abducted her and sent her to a different room and then um, was with Morissam and then Sophia was in a different room. So then, um, where, you know, I told you uh, Sophia left the house to a friend's place. So that friend was trying to reach Sophia but wasn't getting Sophia because she left uh, her phone um, at their place. So then this friend was like, okay, then let me just get to the house and see what's going on because she can't just leave her phone here like that. So when she came there, she met Morissam, untied Morissam. They went out and brought in policemen. They came and arrested Sophia's friend and rescued Sophia. So that means when that friend came inside and met Morissam, um, she untied her. They went because they realized that if they are going to rescue Sophia themselves, maybe it will be too late. So they had to go and call police. And then they came and they rescued Sophia too. And this movie is a short movie, but there's so much lesson in it. Look, if you have a past experience with somebody, a toxic person, that doesn't mean that the one you are with right now is also like that. Just trust them. When it goes on well, fine. When it doesn't go on well, you move on. But you don't let your friend step in to try to seduce them. And what if they, they, they succeed? You see, so sometimes you don't have to take some hard risk, okay? Just allow things to be the way it is. I've learned my lessons. I know you're going to learn your lesson by watching the whole movie. And if you want to watch the whole movie, just go right to the description column. The link is there. Tap on the link. It will send you straight to this movie. And if this is your first time coming across my video, just go right to the subscription button. Subscribe to my channel. Hit on the bell icon to get notification anytime I post a video. My name is Sandra Yaminu. And keep watching the ebook show. And don't forget to keep liking, sharing, and commenting your ideas under the comment section. See you again. Bye.